We are day 11 from planting the seeds and it's so exciting that we are going to transplant my more mature seedlings into the Arrow Spring today. But I wanted to give a close up of what has happened so far and how these are progressing. So on my not so great side, I have my green bean, rosemary, parsley, Roma tomatoes, and cilantro. Nothing's really doing anything yet. I've read parsley can take two to three weeks before it sprouts. I'm kind of surprised my Romas haven't done anything. I haven't given up on these. They are still on the heat mat 24-7 with the light on 24-7 and the dome on as well. And I am putting just tap water in here every two days, just filling up the bottom for five minutes and then draining the excess off. This side is mainly doing great. I am still skeptical about my jalapeno and my lunchbox peppers here. They look kind of pale, which makes me think they're maybe a little bit overwatered. I'm not sure. I have read that peppers need a higher temperature. And like I said before, it's only like 70 to 72 degrees in my basement. So I'm wondering if next time these will actually need to stay on heat once they come, once the dome comes off after they've sprouted, I'm not sure. Um, these two are my bell peppers. This is my thyme here and my oregano right here. Those are still pretty tiny. They do not have any roots coming from the bottom. So all of these are all gonna stay in here, but everything else is ready to go. So in the back here, that's my tomatillo plant, cantaloupe, and I did plant three seeds in that cantaloupe rock bowl cube. They all successfully germinated and I just pinched off the two smallest plants to keep just one plant in this one cube. This is my edamame bean. It is doing so well. It's got beautiful new growth all along here. Same thing with my broccoli. I have a nice beautiful um, new leaf coming in. These are my mixed lettuce varieties. These here are my Tropicana lettuce, arugula, and basil. So those all look great. And I just wanna show here how wonderful the roots have come through the bottom, especially on my edamame here. Just amazing growth. Um, they are ready to go into the Aero Spring. So I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you that process. Today I transplanted my first mature seedlings into my system. But first I had to get my tank ready. So I wheeled this whole system into my kitchen. I added about 20 gallons of water to this, just from the tap. I then added my nutrients, 300 milliliters of A, 300 milliliters of B. I then checked my EC just to make sure it was okay, and it was, it measured at a 1.5. The range that you want is a 1.5 to 2.5. But for young seedlings like this, the lower end of nutrients is what I read is the best. I then measured my pH. It was too basic, it measured at a 7.4, and you wanted it at a 5.5 to 6.5. I added some pH down to this, Per the instructions, I added about two teaspoons of this, and then my pH measured about 6.4. So all I did was I took my rock wool cubes and I just pushed them down into the cup, and then you just place the cup back into the system. I programmed the pump to run for one minute every 40 minutes and I program my LED lights to be on for 17 hours a day. The other really important thing is that you do not want to have any empty holes here. If light gets into this system, it can create algae. So I read that you can put aluminum foil over the top of this, or you can take a golf ball and set it in top there and no light will come in. So that's what I'm going to choose to do because that's really easy. And then I'm gonna let these plants go. 